What's going on, guys? Christian Bullet here with the Denver Nosebleeds. Uh, inexcusable loss from the Avs tonight to the Chicago Blackhawks. They lose 3-2. to two. Um, Yeah, inexcusable. You, you cannot lose these types of games with how close the division is. And losing to a team like Chicago is just brutal, man. Brutal. Uh, before we get too much farther, shout out to our friends over at Clutch Bet Sportsbook. Go download the Clutch Bet Sportsbook app. Use promo code Nosebleeds. Get some free bets on me. Um, I live bet the Avs when they were down 3-2. Didn't work out for me. Uh, let's get into this game recap. Uh, Chicago got the goal scoring started first. Connor Bedard is awesome. Like he's really good at 18. That kid's going to be a problem for a long time. Makes a great play. Sets up Ryan Donato. Georgiev couldn't make the save. Go down one, nothing. Uh, abs will bounce back two straight power play goals by Val. I thought the power play looked really good in that first period. As it turns out, we only got one more power play for the rest of the game because the refs just decided uh, Chicago wasn't committing any more penalties. We'll, we'll deal with the refs later. Um, but the abs take a two, one lead, uh, right before the, First period ends. Chicago ties it again. Beautiful play by Connor Bedard. Sets up Lucas Reichel. Reichel beats Georgiev. Chicago scored on two of their first three shots. That's how this game went. Uh, but after that, I thought Georgiev bounced back. He played a pretty solid game. We play a scoreless second period. I thought the Avs kind of came out a little bit lifeless in that second period. But, hey, that's just kind of become the norm for the Avs lately. Uh, going to the third period, the Avs take two penalties. They're questionable. I, I don't know if I agreed with both of them. I thought they were ticky-tack. But... The refs gave Chicago the advantage. Chicago finally scored in a power play after they looked atrocious for the first, I don't know, three they had. Uh, beautiful passing play. Nothing Georgiev can do. Beautiful goal by Tyler Johnson. They tell you, the Hawks take a 3-2 lead. Rest of the third period, I thought they had created some chances, but this team is desperately missing uh, any line from the top line doing anything. And that was such the story of the beginning of the year was how great the depth had been. And these past couple games, the depth's gone quiet. Uh, Ross Colton played tonight. Don't even remember him making any impact plays. Ryan Johansson continues to look slow out there, and he takes a penalty at the end of the game, which pretty much ruins the game, and the Avs don't get a chance to tie it with an empty net. Uh, Miles Wood got kicked out of the game. It, it was just outside of the top line. I don't think anyone contributed. Anyone. It was just a complete failure from them. Georgiev, the first period wasn't great, but I thought he bounced back, like I said, for the third period. Uh, just overall, like, you can't lose these games to Chicago. You cannot lose these games to Chicago. They are way too important in the standings, and it's a frustrating loss. It's a very, very frustrating loss. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. Like You did play pretty well, I thought. You had 38 shots on goal, 35. I can't remember how many they had. Morazic was good after the first period, but I don't think the Avs had very many high-danger scoring chances. Miko missed the net like five times on wide open nets. And then you had Bo Byron missing net. Like it, it, it was just a comedy of errors from the Avs and they should have won this game easily, but mistakes and not getting a big save when you needed it cost the Avs this game. So huge loss. Uh, don't really know what else to say. You got an Ottawa Senators team coming in on Thursday. Who's going to be remotivated now that their coach got fired. So yeah, tough loss. Hate it. I'm very frustrated. Griffin and I are about to record the Tall Avs podcast. Make sure you check it out. But until Thursday, Let's go have baby.